Hi there, Hot Stocks graphic designer here. With fall quickly approaching, we thought now would be the perfect time to do a complete Photoshop tutorial on how to use seasonal stock photos to create realistic product mockups for all your upcoming product releases, events, and giveaways. New seasons are the perfect time to refresh your graphics and kickstart your business. Besides, we're heading into the busy holiday season, so you want to make sure all of your visuals are ready to help you promote your products. Even if you're not a product designer, you can follow along to learn how to create unique graphics. For example, if you're hosting an event, you can feature the invitation in one of our mockups to help you promote on social media. So today I'll be going over six different types of product mockups you can create for stationary, hand-lettered designs, mugs, totes, and art prints. Please note that for example purposes, some of the designs I've used feature elements from our graphics packs. Creating derivative products using our images or graphics packs that you sell or give away is not permitted, but they can be used to create graphics for your own website, social media, and promotions. Now let's jump into this tutorial. You can create beautiful fall invitation mockups by using Hotstock seasonal flat lay photos. Any image can be used for a mock-up and doesn't necessarily need to include a blank piece of paper in it, although we do have these available in the library. Stock photos like this one actually work quite well because there's a lot of negative space and you don't have to worry about fitting your invitation into dimensions of a set paper size. I'm just going to rotate and crop the photo so that it looks like a close-up shot. Now that I've got my background set up, I'm going to drag and drop the front and back of my wedding invitation into the file. I'll resize the invites to fit within the photograph. Then I'll stack and rotate the images in a way that gives the appearance of paper stacked on top of each other laying on a table. Once I'm happy with the layout, I'll add drop shadows to my images to make them look realistic. To add a drop shadow, double click on the invitation layer to open up the layer style dialog box. Next select your drop shadow and feel free to play around with the settings like opacity, angle, depth, and spread. One thing that's very important is to match your drop shadow to the natural lighting of the original photograph. Be aware of the highlights of the photo and the shadows on opposite sides. Play with the angle of the drop shadow to mimic the light. Add the drop shadow to the other invitation layer as well. Photoshop will automatically save the settings that you've customized on the previous shadow for consistency. And your design is ready to be shared with the world. Now let's look at how to do a mock-up for a baby shower invitation that only features a one-sided design. You can use these graphics on your sales page, Facebook, or Instagram. I'm going to crop the background image to make it look like a natural table layout for my invitation. Next I'm going to drag and drop my PNG file of the baby shower invite. I'll experiment with the angle and size of the image in order to achieve a natural look. Because this photograph features negative space in a shape that my image can't fill up on its own, I'm going to layer a couple more copies of the invitation underneath. Having the invites go past the edges of your canvas also gives a close-up interesting look. Because the top layer is in full view, I can do different crops and angles with the underneath layers to add something a little more unique than a perfectly symmetrical layout. I'm going to size them a little smaller and just have them peeking out a little from behind the top invite. In real life, the invite on top would appear bigger to the eye than those underneath so shrinking underneath layers makes it appear like a real photograph. Next, I'm adding my drop shadow to all of the baby shower layers. For this photograph, you can see that the light is hitting the pumpkins on the right side and the shadow appears on the left, so I'm going to replicate that angle in my invites drop shadows. Now you have two different unique ways to create invitation, stationary, and print mockups for hot stock photos for all your fall business needs. Let's move on to a mock-up for all you hand lettering queens. This is a fun one for all of you who create custom hand lettered quotes who want a creative way to display your work. 
I've started out with this bright, gorgeous photo, which is perfect because it features white space in the background that we're going to place our product into. So I'm going to start by dragging and dropping the hand-lettered quote over top of the photo, and then by holding Alt and Shift while clicking and dragging the image, I can copy and move the image where I want it to be. I'm going to repeat this until the white background is completely covered. Don't worry about going over the model in the image. Once you have the text positioned where you want, we'll bring the model forward so that the text only appears behind her like wallpaper. I'm going to grab my selection tool, select the wall. You can use the deselect option to fine tune your selection if it grabbed areas you didn't want to include. Then inverse the selection so that the model and floor are selected. Then I'll copy that selection and paste in place to ensure that the selection stays exactly where it was in the photo originally. Make sure that the pasted layer is above all the quote layers. You can play with blending modes or the opacity to make the quote look more natural or leave it as it is and let your designs really pop. And that's all there is to it. Selling canvas bags with custom prints is common for artists and makers and Hotstock offers photos featuring blank totes that can be used to elevate your sales page. These photos make it super easy to mock up your designs. If your design is a PNG with a transparent background, then you're ready to just drag and drop your design, resize the image, and rotate it if needed to get your perfect placement. The only thing left to do is change the blending mode to multiply and play around with the opacity till you get your most natural look. Your products are ready for the fall season, easy as pumpkin pie. Mug mock-ups are also very popular because really, what's more appealing than a cup of your favorite hot beverage on a cold day? Mug mock-ups work much like the tote mock-ups. The one tip I would mention is to be conscientious of your cropping. I want a more zoomed in look because I want the sole focus of this graphic to be the mug. So I'm going to go for a pretty close crop. Don't be afraid to play around with cropping. Hot stock photos are made to be personalized to work for your brand. Then again, just drag and drop the design. Resize. and adjust blending modes and you're all good to go. If you want to show off how your prints would look in a real life setting for your customers, frame mockups are your go-to. Grab one of Hot Stock mockups featuring an empty frame. I'm going to crop this photo into a square to make it ready to share on Instagram or on a website. This also ensures that viewers can really see the details of your design. This frame features a matted border that you can take advantage of and resize your photo to fit within the smallest border or you can choose to fill it, which I'm going to do, by adding a rectangle and using the eyedropper tool to fill it in with the same color as a matted border. If you notice that there's still a slight difference in colors in the frame, you can take your paintbrush and with the same color selected as the color of the matted frame, you can paint over the different colors to make it one cohesive background. A design tip is that if you hold shift while you're painting, it will paint in a straight line which is awesome for getting the edge of the border of the frame. Now the extra border disappears and I can drag and drop my design and resize it to where I want it to sit. Depending on the dimensions of your print, you may need to crop it so that it matches the frame. Or if you have a border like my design and don't want to cut off any of the image, then you can slightly skew the picture to fit. Make sure you're only skewing it ever so slightly to avoid distortion. Then change the blending mode to multiply, which will make the design contrast less with the photo and blend in with the overall look. Now I need to erase some of the design because it's overlapping with the pumpkins. 
To do this, use a layer mask because this will allow you to erase parts of your image, but not permanently. So you can bring them back if you make a mistake. Next, to erase the image, grab your paintbrush and brush over the image with black to hide it. Painting with white would reveal the pixels that you had previously hid and this is why layer masks make it super easy to work back and forth without damaging a file. And now your mockup is picture perfect. Product mockups are a way to showcase your designs in a way that gives them the beautiful platform all your hard work deserves. It helps your customers get a better feel for your product in your digital shop and they'll have your clients falling all over your products.